Hi, my name is Thomas Johnson, and I'm the founder and CEO of Get Up and Get Fit Wellness Coaching Concierge. I'm also a C-suite advisor and investor, and you're listening to the How May I Serve You podcast, where I'm constantly on the quest to surround myself with the best coaches while learning how to better serve our executive clientele by asking them, how may I serve you? Today's show is sponsored by Get Up and Get Fit. Get Up and Get Fit will be providing students with textbooks and school supplies in Cambodia in honor of our guests today, as well as our philanthropic mission to impact at least 50,000 people per year. Today's guest is Jason Integrity. Jason, how are you? I'm outstanding. How about yourself? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Right. So Jason is a sales strategist and sales coach, mm -hmm. the owner of Integrity Go, and entirely dedicated to leading a change in how the world sells. He's also an Army veteran and has over 20 years of sales experience. He has a BS in marketing from U of P and two graduate certificates in entrepreneurship, innovation, and business communication from Harvard. Jason, welcome, welcome. Thanks. I appreciate you having me. Awesome. So, yeah, man, so let's start, let's start into it right now, man. So I, I want you to give me the two-minute version of your story. Where are you from and how did you get started? I, I'm from Detroit. Um, I, I got started. I was a career salesperson. Once I got out of the military, I went into sales. Okay. Um, and uh, throughout my career, I, I, I picked up the, the skill of the trade and, and learned that um, the better I connected with people, the better I, I did, the more I accomplished, the better relationships I built, the the, the more I made. <laughs> and it's like, yo, this is not a coincidence. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, man. That, that's the that's the truth right there. It's all about the relationships, right? It's about building relationships uh, because you work with people as individuals. You don't work with just, you know, you don't just work with um, system. You do work with system, but first it's the people. The people are the ones that are controlling everything else. And we right. all have personalities, right? Emotions. <laughs> right, right. Cool. So, so Jason, um, how long ago were you in the military? Was it was it a while ago, or did you? Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I got out of the army in ninety eight. Okay, ninety eight. Okay, <laughs> okay. I've been out a while. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So, what made you decide to um after leaving after serving, right? What made you decide to go into sales? Well, um, that's an excellent question. The, the relationships that I had in the in the military, um. You, you, you get more done when you connect with people, when you motivate mm -hmm. people properly, then we all work better. We all function as a team. The better connections that you have, the the easier the work is, the better, we, the more cooperative everyone is. And it's just more efficient. So I, I learned that in the military. Okay. Um, tra transitioning into sales, I just saw more of the same thing. So making genuine connections and uh, being authentic in who you are as you have this conversation. It, it, it applies to everything. So uh, bringing it on to the business side was just a, a natural step. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So is this part of the reason why you decided to become a sales coach? I mean, I mean from the military, then diving into sales, what made you transition towards coaching others? Well, life will, is, is easier when you got a coach, right? Um, Steph Curry is not Steph Curry without the, the coaches out there with him. Yes, indeed. So <laughs> we get to skip a lot of steps. Um, I have gotten punched in the face enough to where I can save you from getting punched in the face this many times. We can mm -hmm. skip a lot of steps. Um, more importantly, I've, I've been in this industry for so long that it's certain things that come natural to me that you don't have to learn. Let me coach you through this process. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't need to learn how to do that. You don't have to dedicate your time in learning how, how to, to write your scripts or in learning how to have this conversation. Uh, we can coach you through that. And then now it's just you talking and it's a natural thing. Got it. Got it. So what's your coaching style, man? Cause I, I've interviewed plenty of other coaches, right? They have, and many coaches have different coaching styles. Like what's your approach to coaching? Talk to me. Um, I, I coach without coaching, you know, uh, I take a lot of cues from Bruce Lee. Remember in, uh, the editor the dragon, he said he practiced the art of fighting without fighting. Okay. <laughs> so okay. I coach without coaching. Uh, everything has to come from you. So I have to pull this out of you, but I, it's not like I'm, I'm sitting here lecturing you on how things should be, but, mm -hmm. but more so how do you want it to be? How do you want to have this conversation? Who are you authentically? And how can we make sure that throughout your marketing, 
you're representing yourself properly so that people can connect with you. So that connection has to be made before you try to sell anything. You have to build your brand. You have to build your market. You have to establish trust. You have to show your expertise. Otherwise, then, then who are you talking to and why? So as we have this conversation, I'm coaching you through the conversation, but mm. it's your words. It's, it's your thoughts. All of this mm. stuff that's, that's coming out of, out of your head and, and going into your marketing. And then now it's like, yeah, this is what I really wanted to say. This is the audience that I really wanted to talk to. And now it's a natural thing. And how we get there is, is very, very organically. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm glad you mentioned it organic because oftentimes I hear people talk about scripts, right? When, when I first, when I was transitioning my company from a from a, a fitness company to a wellness concierge, it was a struggle, you know? Um, I had VAs doing cold calling and it was just a disaster, but <laughs> it, was, it was the learning process. Yeah. So if I had... A sales coach during that time, it would have it would have prevented me from busting my face <laughs> all, all that time and from stumbling right. and and messing up. But, but yeah, yeah, still, I, I still learn from those experiences though, right? But mm -hmm. having a coach definitely makes things much easier, much more bearable. Yeah. So um, so yeah, I, I definitely hear you on that. And so yeah, so what type of clients do you work with? Because I know everyone needs a sales <laughs> coach for the most part. Every, every everyone sells. Yeah. For a company to be successful, you have to sell, right? Yeah. So, but who do you work with primarily? Who's your clientele? Do you work with upper management? Do you work with middle management? Talk to me about that. It's, 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 it's different versions of the same thing, right? So C-level execs is a different conversation mm -hmm. than uh, a, a single owner. And that's a different conversation than with the sales manager. And it's, a, it's different for a sales rep. You know, and, and even when you are just an entrepreneur and you starting off yourself, it's, it's a completely different way. You have a conversation about your business and how you position. it. I can work with uh, just about anybody. Um, like you say, selling is selling, you know, so you, you have to represent yourself properly. You have to connect with people. Uh, more importantly, you have to be conscious of this customer journey. So if you understand what you need to say, uh, what you need to convey to this particular person and how you position your product to solve this problem. Once you go through this, this thing and you understand the journey of it, now you can have this conversation. Right. And, and now you're not pitching and you're not hoping that, listen, I'm going to I'm just going to run this funnel and I hope it stick. If I can get a two percent conversion rate, then I just take it as opposed to having a genuine conversation with the people who need you. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, I work a lot with coaches recently. Um, uh coaches are, are great at coaching their expertise but not necessarily selling it right or, or how to have all right. <laughs> right so i work with a lot of coaches um i work with a, a bunch of startups we we got the the great resignation going on right mm -hmm. so a lot of people are realizing their worth and it's like i can i can do better by myself i don't have to work here so i help them with that process and getting that idea out of their head and, and turning it into an actual functioning company um, that, that you can pass down generationally like this doesn't stop with you the job stops with you but this this company that you're creating you get to pass on to, to future generations awesome awesome yeah by the way I, I, i'm loving your shirt right now man adults oh, I, I, I do not recommend i do not recommend stay safe stay <laughs> awesome, awesome. i mean i i, I like shirts with wordings um that provides some um, Message and also satire, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> satire as well. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I, I'm glad you told me about your coaching style and and your approach, which is amazing. So, what would you say makes you stand out as a coach? Right. What makes you stand out as a sales coach? Why you? Yeah, I don't know, that's a, that's an excellent question too. Because because I can actually do all of this, you know. I used to have a, a sales manager when I worked in radio and he always used to talk to me about the golden days of radio and, and how he used to sell it then. And I'm like, all right, well, let's, let's go sell it now. You know, show me, show me what you used to do and see if it works now. Oh <laughs> <laughs> so everything that, that we're doing, I'm, I'm doing for me too. I have to sell my company, right. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, sell people on the service. So I'm out here actually doing the work is, it's not theory. Um, more importantly, as we have this conversation, I'm here with you. I'm coaching you through it. So as we make the progress, it's like, yeah, see, yeah, you can do it. Yeah. See how this is flowing. You know, uh, see this conversion rate going up. You, you, you see the margin is, is shrinking like, like, yeah, like we're, we're, we're killing it. So uh, 
uh, I think that's the coaching part of it is 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 uh, 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 more of a nurturing um, mm-hmm. as we as we accomplish these goals. You know, not so much of here are the rules that you need to follow and here are the five steps that to, to do this thing. And here go a, a sequence of this. And it's like, no, that may not work for you in your mm-hmm. sales style and how you want to connect with your customers. Exactly. So let's figure out how that can happen naturally. And then once it's a conversation, it's just a conversation, you mm-hmm. know, tell the world that, that you dope and, and, and how great this product works to solve this problem. And as you do that, hey, quite naturally, you just pick up more and more clientele. The, the, the customers that you already have, you build deeper relationship with, but you just get to be yourself. You just get to be your authentic self. And, and it's no stress in, in that. Yes, indeed. So um, I stumbled upon this uh, concept about a year ago. It's called Story Brand. Okay. Um, are you familiar with the Story Brand um, principles, the structure? Yeah. 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 What, what are your thoughts on that in terms of being – not being in front of the person nor behind, but being a guide when, when you when you when you're trying to um communicate um I guess your service and product. It's not about you, it's about the clients. What Absolutely. do you think in terms of the story brand structure? It, I, I think it works perfectly. You know, um, as you have that conversation, that's the kind of the positioning you should take. So even me as a coach. So um I liken it to uh uh the karate kid, the first karate kid, right? And uh he, uh, Mr. Miyagi got, got Miyagi. manual over there and he's like, yo, paint the fence. Right. And he's like, well, yeah, he, he doing it. All right. Sand the floor. And he's sanding the floor. So, so then you had to break down, like, listen, you just got me doing all of your work. You're not teaching me nothing. So he goes, stand here, paint the fence. And he started doing it. And he started throwing punches at him. He's blocking them. Right. Sand the floor. He's throwing punches and he's blocking them. And he's like, oh, it's working. So this is when I say coaching without coaching is, is, is the same thing. Uh, for for everybody's product, so it works. You don't necessarily understand how it works. It's my job to show you that you can do this. You know, so with with the story brand uh, concept, it's just that I'm guiding you through this process. Even when you're having a conversation with your your customers or potential customers, you're guiding them through this process. I know the customer journey. I know what you're gonna get next. You're mm-hmm. gonna send this, and you're gonna click the link, and then you're gonna get an email, and then in the email we're gonna follow up with you. We're gonna send you to another landing page, and then from there. We're going to try to book a call with you. We book that call. We're going to set an appointment. And then I know all, I know where we're going before we get there. Mm-hmm. So because I know all of that, I can guide you through this process. And if there are questions that you have or parts that you're uncertain on, I can help you with. So this should be everybody's uh, uh, thought process when trying to sell their product. You're not just trying to, hey, I got it. They sell it over there for 10 bucks. I got it over here for seven bucks. So. <laughs> right? so, but but why should I buy it from you? Why should mm-hmm. I care that you made the money? Why should I care? Why should I believe that you actually want to help me by selling me this? So mm-hmm. as, as we have those conversations and and they are thorough and thoughtful and and they can feel that connection. Now you you sold some stuff, and but more importantly, you've made a connection with your customer and you've helped them through that process. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well stated. So um. As a sales coach, right? Um, if a prospect were searching for a sales coach, right, in their discovery process, what traits would you advise for them to look for in a sales coach? What what, what traits would you say? That's awesome. Uh, if they guarantee you something before talking to you, <laughs> not real. Seven figure this. I can get you the eight figures of that. Smoking all lies. They have they have not talked to you. So how do they know? What are we starting with before we try to sell it? Do you have a product that we can even push? They haven't talked to you. You know, um, are you even selling the product to the right person? Mm. You know, so are you are, is, is this who you think is the right demographic or have you done the actual market research to know? Have you talked to people? Uh, as you sold this product yourself and, and connected, why did you create this product? Who are you trying to help? So, so all of this, these questions have to be asked before I can say, oh yeah, we can sell it. <laughs> so, so if they jump right in, it's like, yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'm going to teach you some scripts. I'm going to teach you how to close. I'm going to teach you how to uh, forecast. I'm going to teach you how to prospect. None of that matters if you are talking to the wrong people, trying to sell the wrong product to them and not actually solving their problem. And they don't feel like you care. You're just trying to sell something. Mm. So 
when you get those those LinkedIn messages and it's four paragraphs from somebody <laughs> you don't even know, that's what they're doing. Here's everything about me. Please read all of it and then send me some money. <laughs> yeah, definitely. As opposed to actually legitimately trying to solve a problem or, or make a connection. Mm, okay, okay. Since since we're on the, the subject of LinkedIn right now, um, if uh, a new business owner, right, uh, entrepreneur, were trying to reach out to a prospect, what approach would you recommend for them? Like just, just, be, just be a good LinkedIn. I'm I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah. Just just be yourself. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Jason. Here's who I am and what I represent. Integrity is very important to me. Mm -hmm. You know, if you feel integrity is important to you also, let's have a conversation. I just want to connect with you. I'm not trying to sell anything. So far too often, you hear an entire sales pitch from everybody, whether it's LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram, or even just an ad that pops up. They're not giving you anything to base your decision on other than they got something and they want you to buy it. Mm -hmm. You know, so introduce yourself understand who you're talking to so if you're just randomly sending out friend requests then it's, it's, it's not going to help you so now you got ten thousand connections and zero actual connections mm -hmm. but but target the people who you want to help especially on linkedin linkedin is is, is great at that yeah. so if i work with coaches you can literally go and chat type in coach and look at everything that come up then you can break it down by 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 uh region so now I can target coaches in Michigan. That's all I'm talking to. I know what it's like to be a coach in Michigan. Maybe we should have a conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe what I do can help you. You know, so I think that's where it starts with just an introduction, a genuine introduction. This is who I am. This is what I represent. Yeah. Here's why I want to talk to you. Okay. Yeah. You basically um, highlighting being intentional, right? Being mm -hmm. intentional in your approach. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's about. Opposed to just trying to random, trying to be random and, Throw like a a, <laughs> a quarter in a bucket in, in a sense, right. um, but yeah, man, um, those are all great, great tips right there. Be be intentional. Um, introduce yourself. Let them know who you are, and from there, I mean, allow allow the conversation to manifest. So yeah, I hear you on that, absolutely. man. So it's storytelling time, Jason. Um, yeah. I want you to tell us a two to three minute success story where you realized your coaching principles to help. Um, elevate one of your clients towards success. This is like uh, my favorite part of the podcast. I like, I I like this. I love this concept. Let me tell you something <laughs> that just happened. This, this, this is not even a week old. Okay, perfect. I, I have a client who is currently a uh, school teacher. Okay. And she is looking to transition from school teaching to life coaching. Um, she's been doing it uh, part-time off and on. Uh, for a few years and now she's ready to take this leap and do it full time so all the anxiety that 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 everybody has had when you're jumping into okay let me just get into my company I, if i can spend all my time working for me it'll just be great so we had to get the her entire message out of her mind because uh although she had been working it she she didn't feel that she was connecting with the right audience and and, mm -hmm. and the right targeting so well, well, who do you want to help and why? And we had this conversation. This is a, a, a couple hour conversation as we dig into it. So we went through the through the process. Uh, we go through targeting. We create market segments. Uh, we go from there and we, we uh, uh, organize the sales process. We weren't I have a four week process. We work, we work two hours a, a week uh, for a month. Uh, we were two weeks into it. She had a. Um, a person that she wanted to uh, have the conversation with um, who could be a potential client. All right, cool. Are you, are you ready? You, you feel confident to have a conversation right now? I'm like, we only, we only halfway done. And she goes, yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got this part. All right, cool. So we, we, we went over a few scenarios. She went and had the meeting, uh, uh, picked up a client first time out, first time go new client life, life and business coach client. Right. Um, this one client, uh, uh, it generates a, a, enough revenue for her, for her company that is half of her current salary. One client. Wow. So we do this again. You can quit your job, right? So now we can, we can say, we're not going back to that job. We are going to go full time into our company, into mm -hmm. your company. And we are going to make this happen because now we know we can make it happen. 
is now it's not a theory. Now it's not just an idea. It's real. It's living. It's breathing, and it's generating revenue. So let's go. This this just happened. This is this is only a week old. <laughs> right there is now. Now you have a proven concept that you could utilize again and again and again. That's right. Right. Proof of concept is so important. Uh, just because you get to now, it, it, I, it's something to believe in. It's something tangible. I can duplicate this. So so now rinse and repeat, and and, and let's let's go get rich. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, so Jason, man, you know, um, I mean, first of all, um, your last name, you know, Jason Integrity, you know, that word integrity means so much to me. And, and you also connected your name, your last name to your company, Integrity Go. Um, when, uh, when you, when you hear the word integrity, you know, it's, it's something that draws people to you. Do, do you feel that because, of your last name and your your company's name, you're able to connect with people more, or people are more attracted to you. Yeah, I use integrity um, because it's my number one core value. Okay, I'm going to be where I say I'm going to be. I'm going to do everything I say I'm going to do. If I tell you I'll be there, I'll be there. <laughs> if there's something that we're trying to work out, I'm trying to work it out. You know, so um, this is something that I've I've been. Uh, uh, that's been dear to me for, forever, you know, mm -hmm. so um, and, and and going with integrity, go, this is what we do. We go everywhere with integrity. If we lead with integrity, then now we walk into every uh, potential business deal, every potential relationship with clean hands, you know, so so now we can have this conversation. Now we can work this deal. And I want you to know before we start, I want this to work. I want the best for you, too. I don't want just want to take your money. But I, I want everything that I'm promising you, I'm going to make sure that you get. I guarantee that it's going to happen. You have my word on it. And, 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 and you know, uh, as a salesperson, that's something that you don't normally hear. Right. And so uh, <laughs> when when I was a, a sales rep uh, for these different organizations, that's 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 how I was able to be successful is because. Hey, Jason, you don't sound like all these other guys. Hey, you actually showed up when you said, yeah, I'm here because I said I'll be here. We're going to mm -hmm. make this work because I'm telling you, I'm going to be here until it works. You know, so once we can uh, use our core values and now we can start earning trust. And now now people listen, I can connect with you. OK, I can trust you. Oh, OK. You're actually doing what you're saying. Oh, OK. So what's this product you got? I think I do need that now that you say everything. But. When we when we lead with our core values, when we when we when we have these conversations based on who we are uh, uh, authentically, now I can have this conversation a thousand times a day, and I'm not leaving anything anywhere. I haven't led anybody on. I haven't promised something that I can't do. And at the end of the day, once it's all delivered, everybody feels good, and now I, I my reputation is solid. And then so when we're talking about brand building, that's where the consistency comes from. Mm -hmm. You know, just continue continuously being yourself. You know, the 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 it's a reason that everybody before each purchase, you go to Amazon and, and see if they got it first. Right. Because, you know, you're going to get it in two days. Yeah. If they got it, you know, they're going to give you the best price because it's going to get itemized down. You can pick it. I trust Amazon first and then I'll check out everybody else. So yeah. over time, they built that reputation. You know, so uh, for me, I lead with integrity. You know, for 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 everybody uh, business, it should be something in your core values that you lead with to have to start your conversation. And that gives an avenue for people to connect with you. Yes, indeed, man. Woo. OK, OK. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jason, man, what drives you? What drives you as an individual? What drives you as a man and a business owner and a sales coach? What drives you? I want to win. A hundred percent of the time, I want to win, and so when I'm when I'm talking to to my clients, now I'm connected to you, and I want you to win, and and winning is what we do. Let's go get it, you know. So what up, what up W? What up? <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I want the dub, you know. Yo. Uh, I'm uh uh, it was a uh. When Chris Paul got traded, this is a basketball analogy. When Chris yeah. Paul got traded to the Clippers, right? Uh huh. Uh, Vinny Del Negro was the coach. They were getting blown out by twenty in the fourth quarter of, of Chris Paul's first game with, him. and he pulled all the starters like that. Hey, we gonna lose. So Chris Paul goes up to him and goes, "Why you take me out?" He goes, "We we down by twenty. It's the fourth quarter. Get you some rest. We try it again tomorrow." He goes, "No, 
we can still win this. Chris Paul then went out and led that team, and they ended up winning by like 10 points. You know, so mindset right there, man. I want to win, and, and we're going to win if I'm on the court. Give me the ball. Let's go. Now, the, the beauty of it is from a coaching standpoint, I'm Phil Jackson. Oh, we going to win. <laughs> <laughs> you getting those rings, all right? getting those rings. <laughs> there we go. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I, de I definitely um love that analogy right there, man, because uh, winners win. Simple as that. Winners win, right? You have to have the mentality. You have to have the mindset. And if you're willing to lay it all on the line and utilize your core values at the same time with integrity, come on, man. Your, your chances are much higher. Absolutely. Much higher. Your success rate is much higher. So keep on pushing on, brother. Yeah, hey, I appreciate so, it. So, Jason, are you currently working on any new projects that you could share with us? Um, any new books, anything of that nature? Nothing that's 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 ready to launch. I'm 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 uh uh kind of tight lipped about a couple of things for the next uh few months. Um, but as far as uh uh coaches go, um, I'm 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 looking to connect with as many coaches as I can. I'm trying okay. to have uh, uh quite a few of these conversations because I feel that through coaching, we can kind of heal the world. We can we can help people with their life. We can help people with their health. We can help people with their business. So uh, get a coach, get a coach. And then if we if we get the coaches together and all the coaches are, 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 are in the game, then now through extension, I get to help more people. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, man. You know, it's all about unity coming together to to win, to win. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> awesome. That's right. Jason, man, um, I appreciate you coming on today's uh episode of how may i serve you um i have one last question for you before we wrap this up yeah. so jason how may i serve you i, I appreciate you making the offer e everybody normally taking stuff <laughs> 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 uh, hey just keep being you man e everything about you is dope I, I appreciate the energy i appreciate the connection and the love you know um as we continue to have these conversations and, and, and build relationships, uh, we can only get better and stronger. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You're, you're absolutely right. Um, so, Jason, once again, thanks for coming on today's episode. And to all of our listeners and viewers, thanks for letting us your ears and your eyeballs. And make sure to tune in to next week's episode. And make sure to share this episode with somebody else that would benefit from it. Stay absolutely. tuned. Always much love and stay blessed. We're out. All right.